We are live. Let me refresh this thing. Make sure you can see us and hear us. Make sure no weird echoes. No, uh, well, it's kind of blurry, All right. but we're live. We're live. <laughs> but now we're good to go. So let me see who's here in the chat before we start. Jimmy, the man with information in hand. Chris Stevens, Mamo Dog, James, DJ Brightlight, Tony, Rock the Kicks, Most Closet. Activate Hustle Mode, Josh Brown, like and three legs, my boy Brian. He says sourcing was, we can't say that, and stores were packed. Man, Brian, let me tell you something. <laughs> Brian, stay safe. <laughs> yeah, stay no, safe out there. This thing it. is, this is brutal. And man, it just, it doesn't even matter what time you go. It is packed regardless. Lines. Wow stuff everywhere it is bad and for fines being so lackluster it's like why even put myself through this why go into battle why go into yeah battle? why go to battle for puma and rbx at this point uh manny fresh kaiser one kick finders move sailing richard pacers kaiser bordeaux fire dapper fanatic uh, let me see. One Kick Finder, Magnetic Souls, Sneaker Flip Find, Astro Drip, Christy, Swoopman, Big Money Mo, RJ Funky Finds, D Bay. Uh, let me see. Nicholas AN, Baker Brand, Hustle Crow, Price Assassins, uh, Peter, Infinite Wealth, William Perry, Anna, my boy Miles, Oscar, Caroline, it's Wednesday, Vintage Profit, Vinu Joseph, man, more people coming in, Vegas Valet, Hustle and Muscle, uh, man, bought, find better deals at shoe stores than Ross Burlington, uh, let me see. Zapatos watched last week's episode for a few minutes thinking it was live. A Will, Josh Leva, I Sleepy, Horus, what up? All right, more people coming in. Oh, yeah. All right, let me uh, get this thing started. All right, 11s. Who hit? Did you get them in, in hand now? Do you like them? Do you love them? Did you already flip them? If you got them now, if you want to flip it, flip it now. Do it now. 360? Come on. Sell on eBay for 350, no fees. Just get it out the door. Get out the door. Make your good money. Dude, I'm telling you, this is, this is probably the most production 11s that's going to hit. Yeah, oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're ready. Yep. Four W's got two today and Palmer. Oh, man, that is so wild. You guys are so lucky. <laughs> Hit on three, still waiting for uh, Manny Fresh. Yeah, I think I DM a few people, and then all of them won, and then I lost. <laughs> <laughs> Size so next time, y'all not getting any text from me. <laughs> <laughs> Man, WN11, Josh Leva stocks uh, healthy on these magnetic souls for sure. Yep. I have a feeling I'll be getting a ton of these on the hash wall. Big oh, money. Oh man, dude, if 11 is going to hash wall, that'll be, I mean, things change. Then Why you know not? sneakers are a totally different ball game now. Right. But I don't I don't see them. I, I don't know. I don't see it happening. But no, I, I they won't go to hash wall because worse because here's the thing. They get returned, employees snag them. Uh, let me see. They'll be everywhere in a few weeks. One million plus. Four pairs coming, three in hand. William Perry. Got two delivered today. They look good. Zapatos. Too legit. What up? Other news. Travis Scott. Air Max 1. Postponed. Yep. Not surprised. This guy was like, let's wait until the masses forget about this so we can make more shoes and more money when we drop them. I mean, they're just like, hey, this is what happened. We're going to postpone, and then they're going to come out randomly, and then they're going to have even more hype to them. I mean. Because they were, they were postponed. and Yeah, they're already made. You know, like, it's not like they're, um, they're still have to make them. You know, they're already made. They're, they have to push it out. Yeah. 
Now, if Nike, what if Nike was like, you know what, they're not going to release, and then you find them at the outlets, like those Carmelo 13s or like. Yeah, Carmelo 13s <laughs> or uh, remember the Black Toast back in the day? Yeah. Um, Carmine 6s, just or, like. Or that, or like those photo blue 9s, remember, that had the wrong sole? Oh, yeah. Midsole, midsole paint. <laughs> They ended Tiger Woods' partnership. They don't want this attention. Sneaker flip find. What? They ended Tiger Woods? <laughs> well, I think at this point, they're just, I think they're just waiting because, you know, everything that's going on. But they're they are going to keep Travis Scott because yeah, they unless, know how much money is involved. Unless, which is sad, but. Unless Travis loses the whatever he's being charged or, or whatever. Until. Unless it becomes a nightmare for, you know. Uh, but I think the girl that did pass away, that was brain dead, though. That was, and I think also the other kid, the I think boy, he's like nine, the, kid, the, the nine kid. years old, he's. Yeah. So, yeah, there's still more, more things coming out and stuff. So I don't know. It's, it's crazy with this thing. Um, let's go to the next thing. Official photos. Nike Dunk Low Valentine's Day. Yo. Finally, I think Nike got it. Like, this one's pretty good. You would rock these. Uh, Glenn, why would I rock this? Would I rock this <laughs> with my lace stocking or something like that? The lace thong? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> but uh, for, for, for women's, though, I think it's very fitting. When I saw this... I, well, when I first saw this, I wasn't paying attention to this <laughs> around the You thought swoosh. it was like what? You thought it was bacon or something like that? I don't know what I thought it was. And then once I started paying attention, I was like, oh, man, what, what is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Cranberry dunks look like dookie. These are bad. These are gross. Yeah, this is like a little, little side, little panties, little ruffle right there around the swoosh. <laughs> a little excited for Valentine's Day, you know? In yeah, some what, action. What's up with the timing, though? Valentine's Day. Also, oh, like pink. they're like waiting three months ahead. They're marketing it three months ahead. Mm, I guess so. It's dunks. Or was this late? Was this, to be this <laughs> Valentine's Day? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> See, Caroline says cute. So there you go. Yeah, you rock these. Yeah, they're cool. But would you rock mids? <laughs> I was I was this close to buying this for, for my wife. Oh, uh, very cool. Cool concept, but I was like, man, she's my wife. Am I really gonna let my wife rock mids? Ah, uh, you can't. You won't. Nope. Nope. Never. <laughs> never. It's like a Christmas sweater, little yeah, a little design on there, huh? Yeah. Where's Jake? Jake will rock these, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I let me see the chat. Would, yeah. What does Chad think about these? Yeah, he would. He would rock this with <laughs> Air Santa ones. Yeah. Uh, where's Jake when you need them? Exactly. Next, they'll be marketing Christmas 2022 at this rate. Mm-hmm. Um, also, update. Did this go as planned that you thought it would go? Just like we said, 250. Oh, man, 250 is... Look at well, these, the 220. Well, that's 250 after you pay everything. Because <laughs> you know how we'll stock X roll. Come on now, Glenn. You know how to stock X roll. <laughs> on these fees, on that after shipping, it's 250. Who got them in hand? Are they nice? What do you think about them? I just um, and what does this tell us about either sneaker game, Jordans, tw- maybe it's because it's 12s? Um, is it timing? What happened here? What do you think? Dude, I, I think I think this this holiday is probably one of the weakest Jordan drop holidays that I can remember. Would you Does, agree? Um well I don't know because the patent bread ones are see, I think that's what it is. And the fours, the those black and red fours, yeah, see, and people see like I, I said that statement just because nothing fire has dropped yet. And maybe I think people are holding out. Could be. I mean, AN says people are broke, but I think that's the complete opposite because they actually showed right now that early Christmas shopping is even doing better than the last yeah. 
it's better three years like so yeah, people are better. spending money now yeah yeah and and c companies and brands have been so smart because they started black friday last week yeah there's yeah, no I black got... friday this year that's what richard said so yeah, yeah they're, now that they're like during the weeks or yeah like during the days so i kind feel of... like i feel like people think i think people because you have the half of the population probably that are scared to go out oh okay you see what i'm saying yeah there's danger out there well, right? like, malls so... are packed right now even my ross i can barely even stand in that line bro people are out i don't Thank know you. Texas is different. <laughs> Texas. No, no, you, no, no. I, I, I stand corrected, Glenn. I actually went and picked up my pair at the mall Saturday, and it was packed. Yeah, see? I could park far. <laughs> yeah, B doesn't like to park far. Out hustle. B looks for the closest parking spot first, ever. First spot ever. That's all I claim all the time. Yeah, I don't like. That's a waste of time parking <laughs> far. Yeah, they didn't even check my ID, Glenn. They just scammed me. Bam, bam, bam. We're gone. Like, just get out of here. Yeah. Get your shoes and get out of here. Uh, people are out, just not out to go to work. <laughs> says Arma. <laughs> Arma, you're not lying. <laughs> nah, nah, not lying there. Um, oh, well, I think William Perry said they were, let me see, didn't like the quality, I think. Interesting. A uh, mall was packed Tuesday afternoon, like a weekend, infinite wealth. All right, Big next. Morning, Mo, you're not lying. I back into parking lot. Park, parking spots It'd be easier <laughs> to get out uh into the news uh urban necessities he's on ebay partnered with ebay now so what does this mean is it good is it bad what do you think initial thoughts it's bad for us ebay gonna <laughs> partner with us <laughs> i'm salty about this i'm, so, I'm salty look at well, the inventory see, though i got a thousand eleven hundred items glenn that could be you right there that guy, that could be me in that beard right bro like like should we just like have four thousand pairs outside being displayed <laughs> i thought it was i thought it was gonna be a good thing it is a good thing because ultimately when the tide rises everybody rises too that's well literally... i was gonna say go ahead when he gets questioned like why on eBay? Oh, like well, they're pushing no fees, and yeah, he's gonna defend us right against <laughs> all like the other platforms. Well, compared to Goat and Stock X, yeah. and be like, well, I don't care for Stock X. I'm, I'm partnered with eBay, and yeah, with them not having any fees, yeah. you should be and buying from like, eBay. Yeah, and he prices like Stock X, and he sells on eBay. Win win for us. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, right. Really, they partner says JD. Apparently, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me see. I, I, I think that that helps a lot. Ultimately, I said that because when the tide rises, everybody rises because this will bring the, tr you know, more trust to eBay that if this guy goes to eBay, that means, you know, they, a bunch of people look up to this guy. Yeah. You know, so, so he's and it's getting he's, authenticated and right. I mean, I mean, hustler hacks us, you know, 130,000 followers. This guy has 88. <laughs> 88. <laughs> 88 on his store. <laughs> oh, man. It's kind of yeah. funny, though, is that... Uh, so, I'm, I'm going to make a video about it, but I got mm. I got shoes returned from authentication. Uh, and... Um, Dude, don't, oh don't my bash gosh. eBay, bro. Oh what happened? What happened? Tell us the story. Now. Quick, so quick before I make the video, let's just say I got them back, and one shoe is a totally different shoe than the other. <laughs> <laughs> how the hell does this happen? Dude, how, I wonder why it didn't go through. Dude, how do we have the worst luck with this <laughs> third party people that all of a sudden when they hit when they get your shoes, they just smell bad they just <laughs> they just have the wrong I'm size like, dude, or pair what is going on so here what kind and, of shoe are these like <laughs> two different shoe yeah the two different shoe um it's a similar model but it's two totally and it's a different size <laughs> different colorway different colorway Man. so the dude rocking it but well, that makes no sense because why would you just want one i don't know what happened they rocked it. They wore it. Yeah, these. This is a used pair. 
Oh. So they sent, they didn't accept it because they said it was worn. Mm -hmm. And they just sent me back a totally worn. The right shoe was the one that I sent. The mm -hmm. left shoe was a totally different shoe in a different size that I don't even have in my inventory. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense that I have I don't know what happened, but I'll, I'll make a video on it. I'll show you what shoe it is and everything. Yo, yo, we got, we got a group chat email or something like that. Invite everybody in chat eBay or something. We got a group <laughs> call and just gang up on eBay or something. Uh, this so is bad. Wild. We, they can't do this for hacks. <laughs> Yeah, that is wild. Anyway, how are your sales? <laughs> right. Speaking of eBay, yes, I love eBay. Uh, speaking <laughs> of eBay, uh, no complaints on sales, though. Oh, Last man. four, five, six days. Fire. Good money. I mean, it's about that time. We're Q4 time. Here it is. Sales are great. All right. This is what, this is what we love. So. Same period last year. I'm 6.8% up. Mm, okay. I like, I like that. Not bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Uh, let me see. Fire all platforms. One kick finder. Good sales. eBay on fire. 110% up. Oh, wow. Lots and lots of sales. Goat on a heater. Goat is killing it. Finally popping Astro Drip. Starting to boom, sneaker flip find. Uh, let me see, eBay been fire for me, Anna. Uh, man, so activate hustle mode. Baby's getting switched at a hospital, so anything is possible. <laughs> 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 I mean, come on now, Glenn. Uh, Brian, fire, uh, infinite wealth, fire. eBay is good. Nick, eBay sales sucks. From Manny Fresh, Decent Caroline, uh, man. So William Perry, yeah, Polo leaving Ross Burlington. We're going to talk about a little bit about that today, but I have a main video coming out tomorrow. Uh, let me see. You know you guys are up in sales because you're in an extra good mood. Oh, for sure. <laughs> extra <laughs> good mood. <laughs> extra good mood. All right. Some of the weekend releases, Billionaire Boys Club, NMD. Comes out on Saturday. So, so again, I got the full logo on there. All right. Do you care, okay. not care? 250. Come on now. I know 250 retail. More, more like, expensive than Jordan 11 is really, it's really very now. true. So, uh, uh, we, striped we, we gray prime knit. Yeah, it's a cool gray. Adidas cool gray. <laughs> Pass. Trash. 250? Question mark. Trash. Uh, BBC signature helmet logo printed on each foot in place of the usual text hits. There we go. Outsole is fire. Upper is trash. Astro drip. These will be 40% off in two months at the outlets. Yep. Sneaker flip find. Next, Jordan 1 Bordeaux. All right. So what does this mean, though, uh, for we saw the 12s. Obviously, Jordan 1 is totally different. We know what happened with Pollen. What do you believe for Bordeaux in the chat and B? I prediction. Prediction is gonna sell at 250 280. Okay. Uh only because of that bubble air jewel mm. wing logo. Like they didn't mess with the tongue. I was happy. You know, like silver. Mm, me, but man, that bubble again, man. That why, why, Glenn? Why? I don't know. They're you Mikey think just didn't. You think it's gonna be like the Tokyo Japan ones? Could be locked? like two fifty, right? That's what they're yeah. selling for. Um, quality look nice from the picks. They do look nice. Quality looks nice. If I mean, like I see smooth selling three twenty, but at that point, I think you're at. Uh, what was that? The Royal. Uh, yeah, you're already kind of going deeper. Yeah, Hyper some Royal other ones. one, right? Hyper Royal once already. So I was like, is that really like a Hyper Royal one with the weird color blocking? I think if they left the Swoosh Bordeaux and if they left the Winx logo alone, I think it'd be $300 easy. Big Money Mo says now they'll do good. Uh, 220 Infinite Wealth, 258 and up. Sneaker Pickers, 
-hmm. So what about, would you invest in some then? If there people are letting them go on StockX or go eBay, I would invest, inpatient I, sellers. At retail, I would. I would invest at retail. Uh, someone said, what, size 9 at 213 already? Brandon, <laughs> size 9 already 213. Yeah, so should we buy now? <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you really want to rock retail. it, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me see. Yeah, hundred percent agree with price action. No way they'll do better than the hyper oil. Uh, small sizes do better for the ladies. These won't go for a lot. Jordan one hype besides OG colorway have lost hype. Richard, I agree. I mean, I mean, if you look at hyper oil and UNC, yeah, they've gone up, but they're not as up as what we thought would have been. Right? Like, they're not like they're never gonna be past the shadow uh red toe you know what i'm saying like i think they stop at the 400 level well i guess the last ones to really kind of go up i guess would be shadow 2.0 that's starting to make its yeah. way but yeah. um hyper royal unc1 obviously but i i think this might i think the height the shadow 2.0 might limit this the shoes uh growth because at that point you could just right like if you spend 250 on this why can't you just buy shadow 2.0 yeah i i think that's that's kind of like how how i'm predicting it uh let me see so yeah 213 for size nine um even my size size 11 at 240 right now and this is uh, before even everything being released. So right. usually they go down once everybody yeah. starts getting them. So yeah, uh, 220 probably, I would think. Great point by Rashard Glenn. Even Mocha ain't up like we thought. Very true. What is Mocha right? at right now? Let me see. Dude, we thought it would be like 700, 800 right now. Uh, Mocha right now, size 11, 533. Yeah, man. It's stopped there already. Size 9 at 550. And they did release um, Halloween 2020. Man, it's been a year, huh? So a little over a year. All right. I, I, I think it's a clean shoe. I think I'd I definitely rock that. You'd rock this one? The Air Max one? That one? No. Oh. What in the world? Oh, <laughs> I thought you were talking about this one. No. <laughs> uh, I mean, let me see. So a, Air Max oh, one, Rush Maroon. It's with the orange lining? Come on now, you know what I'm saying? I could I could wear that with my uh I could see somebody uh pulling the lumberjack look on this one. <laughs> I, I think with, it's a clean shoe. With a you know with a fleece uh flannel. No, yeah, and, for um, sure. Um you know, some overalls, some khaki overalls. <laughs> <laughs> 170 comes out on Friday. Let me see easily the ugliest of the four. Man, uh, Air Max ones are just hard. I mean, would you agree, Glenn? They're just stiff. The yeah, bottom, they're kind of a weird. The bottom a weird shape like, to them. Are just like the bottom's just stiff. I don't, I don't get any cushion from this shoe at all. Let me see. Air Max one is next to go. Dookie, nice. I guess that was it. I don't have anything else? Uh, power rankings last week. Nike, Ross. Marshalls, Burlington. Let's start off with uh, Marshalls. Not much going on out there. Under Armour, Project Rock, Parka, 80 bucks. 80 Activate bucks. Hustle mode. Let's see. Next. Budweiser Starter Jacket. Um, let me see. Mo's Closet. And uh, Richard, more of these what, 2004 <laughs> NBA All Star jerseys. Man. Man. Wasn't Iverson here? Uh, yeah, this is like Kobe, Vince Carter, even LeBron Cavs. Like, uh, Yao weird. Ming, Yao Ming, yeah. right? Man, Marshall's going deep into old inventory to find these, but good money to be made on them at least. I mean, yeah, they definitely found a warehouse. Yeah, they're finally in the back of the warehouse. <laughs> Man, it's like, what about that box from 2004? All the like Peyton Hillis jerseys and. Ocho Cinco. It's either that or the, they've gotten to their return spile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're going deep. Uh, we also got activate hustle mode. 
Um, Hardens and Iversons for kids. And Oregon Flip Finds down to four bucks. Richard, this is what oh. our stores look like. Are you serious, Glenn? This is bad. Oh, wow. Richard Burlington getting destroyed. <laughs> Burlington sells some random stuff like oil for your beard or body wash or I don't know what else going on here. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Vintage Profit just laughing. This thing is, yeah, this is going to get nastier even before we thought it was. Dude, so, you, so you're saying, you're telling, this photo tells me that it's going to get worse. Oh, yeah, it's going to get worse than this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is just the start. We're not even in Black Friday yet, and it's already looking know, like this. Right? <laughs> uh, next. See, there we go. More of the coochie stuff out there. 200 for for X retail 900. That's wild that they retail for that much, huh? Yeah, 900 retail. Wow. There's a kettlebell weight in the middle of the aisle. (laughs) Oh, man. Looks like Walmart on Black Friday. I don't even go to Burlington anymore. (laughs) $80 for basic Nikes. That's even if they have Nike. See? Instead of get more uh, Adidas, uh, Adidas yeah. cleats, Umbro, Adidas yeah. baseball. Low end at this point. Yeah. Um, and Iversons, Candyland Iversons, seventy bucks. Uh, we got Maximum uh, twenty three hundred, and Coleman and eBay Poshman and Maximum twenty three hundred with the hot ones. Iversons. All right, Mamo Dog. They still have Nike at Ross. Yes. <laughs> Our one and only cleats. Nike find React yeah, they're, Baseball. Their metal stud cleats. Yeah. So there's something out there. Uh, Mamo Dog. And that was the only one that anybody else found that has a swoosh on it. <laughs> Next, down off a cleat with the bats. Oh, are bats coming back? Maybe. No. That was are retired. people playing? Are people playing though? Oh, they're definitely playing. Yeah, oh, okay. people are playing. It's uh the season, the baseball, softball season is in full swing. Sin City Hustlers with the Levi's Sherpa. Sherpa, thirty dollars. Uh, Brian, Dame Time with the oh, jacket. That, yeah. Careful on that one because your shooting average will go down. Oh, this, no. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Watch out. Your I did find this. I did see this out there. And I did, your sales I did conversion might go down after you buy that one. <laughs> like, Richard says he likes that Dame jacket, so he would rock. Um, let's see, Richard and Chai Sticker Deals, $40, and uh, let me see, Bob Marley, Samba's already two months after release and already sold out online, but they're randomly at Ross. Wow. That means, uh, Justified um, Creations Boutique with a jacket. That, that means uh, Adidas is switching their business model. <laughs> if they don't sell out, clear them out. <laughs> <laughs> Flipping for funds. Also, the Puma jackets. Uh, Richard again. eBay Poshman. KS reselling. Flipping for funds. Polo. More Man, polo. The polo suede jacket is nice. That was nice. And there we go. If everybody wants the gift, be a nice Christmas gift. Yeah. Some, uh, some, uh, there's some grown up uh, bomber or polo jackets. You know? <laughs> Uh, baseball, CNJ Enterprises, Rays and Rangers. So tell me, Nike are, they, are they newer, Glenn? They are newer, but I believe there were players that are on different teams now. Mm. Uh, Fanatics Hockey, mm-hmm. Maximum 2300 and Just Fly 19. Uh, let me see what the chat says. Anything on the jerseys? Anybody seen any baseball out there? 
I haven't seen any baseball. I've just I've seen football, but I'm see. speaking of football, here's more. Fire Lane Store 415 Edelman. Oh. That's a good find right there. Yeah, you can still flip the Edelman. Uh Goff, Wentz, Bridgewater, Sherman. The same usual. <laughs> Man, how many Carson Wentz Eagles jerseys are out there? Bro. How many did they make? That's the question. Yeah, that is. They've they're everywhere. We're not even in Philly area. How many are in Philly? Right, right. A ton. Golf jersey, dope. Um, let me see. Suede polo, Ross, two fifty seven today. None of them are selling. Yeah, I wouldn't pick up any of these. Well, the Edelman, I would because I know you could still make money on that. But these, no. Oh, yeah, somebody said, where are those Cam Newton jersey from last year? Right, man, oh, they be killing it right man. now. See, that's why we tell you to hold stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, J.J. Watt, uh, Williams, Peterson, Breeze. Oh, Breeze, that's a good pick right there. Um, I did see the Breeze today, but I found two of them, but neither one of them were sewn. So they were the game ones, which are screen printed. Hundred dollars? Yeah, they're a hundred retail or hundred ten retail. There's probably a lot of them out there, huh? Probably, Especially if yeah. they're retired. But if they were the limited, I would definitely be picking up the breeze. Oh, I mean, definitely. He might he might come back. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> he's living the life. He even grew his hair back and stuff. He's, Super, Super he's Bowl, chilling. Super Bowl run. Come on now, Glenn. Yeah, he's chilling in the studio on yeah, NBC. That's true. Yeah. Oh. Uh, let me see. You need the Breeze jersey badly. Tyrell Williams. Yes, sir. Um, I don't know if this one was sewn. I don't think so. The J.J. Watt one is the limited 150 retail on that one. Um, let me see. How much would the Breeze go for? I found a bunch of Breeze, but they were not Nike. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I've seen the Wentz jersey at the Nike clearance store in Cali. Like 20 of them. Southtown Fines. What up? Uh, and the Peterson one there as well. Nike factory store. Big money mo. Buying 13s, 11 IEs, and more. Big money mo doing his thing. No shock there. Yep. Uh, we also got maximum 2300. Whoa. And uh, Flipper Rooney's. Nice. Yeah, Vapor Max. Dude. And Vapor I- Fly. Dude. I can't remember where we, when we last found Vapor Max. That was, <laughs> or, dude, that that would be the day. I would celebrate. I would take a photo of it and tag you. <laughs> Vapor Max. Yeah. I mean, at that point, I wouldn't even care if it's one fifty. I should buy it. Just I finally found a Vapor Max. You finally found one. <laughs> After Key Four Mile, it would only have clothes. Brandon. Yep. Yeah, they're gonna. They're just going to focus on clothes, I think, from here on out. Uh, women's Air Force One down to $42. Got some tanks for $5.94. And that was it. So <laughs> that was it. That was supposed to be this week, but not last week. Oh. Nothing had changed, but that is it. All right. Um, Tomorrow, like I said, I'm going to have a video on my thoughts but for the people that are here i did want to have a discussion with b and the people in the chat as far as it being dry at the stores what does that mean what does the article mean as far as like brands leaving tj max marshalls and ross and all of that stuff so uh we'll talk briefly about that a little bit and also any questions anything you want to talk about in the chat throw it in there too while we're having the discussion but here's the thing um I'm not shocked. Number one, mm-hmm. we've been seeing this since how many how many months we've been doing the live show? This we're already in November. We've yeah, talked about months. this before. Three, four months already. Yeah, well, that, but that you know that has been dry. I mean, even the Nike stuff has been dry for the last what six months. Yeah, realistically, we haven't had a sale since uh, during this year since yeah. the first quarter. So, oh, Clark Kent, ten bucks in the oh, super chat. There, there we go. Um, get some snacks. I mean, the B. Um, TJX stocks plus 6% uh, after real good Q3 earnings. Yeah, source income probably since March, you know, that it's been, that's been mm-hmm. dead. 
And here's the thing, though, is that we've talked about, especially on Mondays, about business is that you're going to have to make changes, just like mm-hmm. Ross and Burlington and Marshalls are going to have to make changes. Now, will they like to have more Nike merchandise? Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Would they love to have Vapor Max and other things in there? Of course they would. But they can also, you know, they're killing it with Christmas stuff. Look how much way more Christmas stuff than they did normal. They right. do well with women's clothing. They do well with towels and mirrors. Yeah, the home goods, really, man. Home goods is where it's at. I they're think. gonna make money regardless, but they're gonna switch that. Mm-hmm. TJ Maxx is saying, "All right, Under Armour's gone. Other brands are gone, but you're still gonna be able to find trendy products," is what they said. Mm-hmm. Which means, cool, trendy, but they're not gonna be name brand. Mm-hmm. You're going to see more RBX. You're going to see more of these brands that they tailor to that are newer products, but they're not named brand. Now, is that going to make people not want to go to TJ Maxx anymore? Maybe. Right. That's for them to also decide where they're going to have to make changes. Right. Or maybe kind of like it's not going to be like a a whole family thing because dad can shop there, right? Now it becomes just a mom thing. Yeah. That- you know, it, it'll be more of a specific demographic now. Yeah. And uh, like Big, <laughs> big Money Mo, uh, I didn't know that some dudes are totally disconnected from what's going on with production. <laughs> yeah. um, I've seen and gotten so many comments and DMs of seeing like, what's going on with Ross? How come we haven't seen Nike stuff? And it's like, you're we're, we're just barely not seeing Nike stuff. This isn't no. this hasn't been anything new. No. And at the same time, we've been going through the same grind and figuring out other ways to make money, which obviously you should have already been doing that as well yeah. in the chat, which a lot of you already have, whether it is yeah. sourcing online, focusing more on outlets, maybe going back to thrifting, maybe doing more of the like hype. garage sales or and other stuff. things or hype or drop. So you've been stuff. pivoting to keep the business going, which is smart which is what you have to do in right. any business. Right. And and I think ultimately, right, I think TJ Maxx or the article had to be put out because ultimately these stores actually have contracts between these brands. Now, it may look like that. It depends where you put it, right? TJ don't want them there anymore or Nike don't want their stuff there anymore. But I think it's a matter of this brands cannot fulfill their contract with the stores. And I think ultimately they have to find other brands that could fulfill it. I think that's me. Mm-hmm. If I just look at it as a more of a, a supply issue because if they keep this contract, right, they cannot just add more contracts to their current contract because if – Supply comes back and they're still holding the certain contracts. Now all of a sudden, Marshall and TJ Maxx is going to be oversupplied. So I think I think there's that kind of like a point of view for me. And like you said, it shouldn't surprise us. The last Nike runs that we saw was the Nike stuff that was held because of the lockdown. That's pretty much it. And the whatever old warehouse they found Nikes. I remember seven months ago, the manager of Burlington told me that Nike wasn't selling to them. This was like June, says mm-hmm. Richard. Yeah. Um, and let me go back up. Sneaker flip. Fine. This is going to be a one to year problem with brands. The mm-hmm. uh, this caused all of them to maximize profitability on the supply shortage. At least try. 100%. Because here's the thing. So Yarzlov saying, I don't think it's really production. I think this is a strategic move from Nike. They have no problem pumping out mids and lightning fours, et cetera. That's where I would also disagree though, because they don't want to have empty shelves at their outlets. Yeah. They're paying rent for these places. Like yeah. you think they want empty shelves? There, w- there wasn't even clothing on some of the racks at my right. outlets. It's just bare. Like yeah. so, who wants that? So, yeah, their revenue is definitely a lot lower because if you think about it, right? Us people are not spending as much like we, not like we used to. So that's definitely a revenue deal. Dip. and even the locals right like I, I you know i i i am you know i have a few people that i talk to and they come to me it's like dude what's happening to nike i was just trying to get there to get my son a basketball shoe and 
seems like they're expensive, so we just went to Full Locker. Mm. That's kind of like the conversation for average consumer, right? So, so I think they're really not that, and that's the reason why they really haven't hurt for workers because they don't have anything for the workers to do. <laughs> True. Uh, it's a supply chain issue. Did you all forget how Nike Outlet looked in 2019? Big Money Mo. Yep, 100%. Uh, let me go back up and see. Uh, Big Money Mo, I think it used to be super easy picking up heat at discount stores and resellers are used to walking in and finding heat on a lunch break, but now it's not the case anymore and they're confused now. <laughs> uh, talk to the manager and she said they will get getting rid of Nike last May, William Perry. If they had empty shelves, people wouldn't want to come back in five years, says Austin. And that's the thing, kind of like what B said too. How many discouraged, I saw just regular discouraged customers mm -hmm. that were questioning the work. They were even more mad than the resellers. They were like, are yeah. you guys getting anything new? Are you guys closing? Yeah, people yeah. They were closing. Yeah. Like, yeah. why Why am I going to show up here to buy stuff for my kids, for the family, if there's nothing new and it's the same shoe that I, I've been seeing for three to four months? And not mm -hmm. only that, the prices haven't even changed. Right. So yeah. even if they're going there's in no for a deal, the deal's there's really not even no there. Markdown. There's no markdown. The same reacts have been there for 129. Yep. And I mean, even the reproduction of the Air Max 2019, right? Everybody has it, right? The full bubble in the bottom, they're at 125 all across the outlets. Some brands don't want their overstock sold at reseller stores like Ross, Marshalls, et cetera. Nike's moving away from reselling stores, at least for shoes. Apparel will be widely available. Well, the thing is, is that even going back to the article, which I said that video out tomorrow, it talks about Polo and Levi's and all of these that, yes, Ross Burlington Marshalls are the last resort. And the reason why they're the last resort is because, number one, the, you know they get them for dirt cheap. They're mm -hmm. past season. Yeah. They're not selling at the retail stores that Nike and all these stores have. Even they down to the outlets. They have yeah, they have new merch coming in. Coming in right. So they would get it out to mm -hmm. Ross Burlington and all of these. Mm -hmm. But in this case, because of supply, they're not getting in those items like they used to. Or they could just keep turning them and flipping them. Now, yeah. they're waiting for things to come in to fill up their own factory stores, their own outlets. Mm -hmm. So that's what the article is also saying. Is like, um, I think it even said the Under Armour one is that their outlet is like their main priority at this point. Right. Not Burlington, yeah. not yeah. Marshalls. Like, yeah. they want to fill up their outlets. Yeah, the discount retailers are excess of the excess supply out of their outlet. That's the reason why if you talk to managers within the outlets, they have capacity number. Yeah. You know, I spoke to a few outlet managers that said, we're currently at 100%. We're not going to get anything more after this mm -hmm. so anything in excess gets sent to the outlets that have less that's it because you cannot overpack a store yeah uh, coach steve that's why there is no back wall discounts if they gave discounts there would be no stock to put up 100 percent. i mean because we would buy them all think about it <laughs> yeah right i mean you know a lot of people have you know money to spend but yeah, and that would be the best way to spend your money if Nike has a back wall, sale after sale. Uh, even the back wall now is the same price as the ones in the racks. They just don't have a lot to fill the racks. That's why they're on back wall. Um, if they're not getting Nike and Jordans, then Nike Outlet will have way more. Um, they keep pulling out some random old stock to put on their shelves, says Anna. Um, Yaroslav says, I disagree. The revenue is way up and the empty shelves and outlets mean everything sold at full retail. Um, let me see. It's like oil right now. Less production is 20, 30%. Profit is way up. Hmm. Well, so. there's like, there's, I know, I know overall, there's, yeah, overall there's less quantity that's being sold because there are dookie colors and shoes that are mm -hmm. definitely marked down yeah, at other yeah, stores. I, like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Air like, Max twenty ninety or yeah, look out, look at, uh, look at Foot Locker. They're still, they still have a Presto. Budget. Presto was what seventy bucks. Seventy nine. That's not full retail. Their full retail is what one twenty or one forty. Yeah, Space Hippie seventy nine. Uh, right? Space Hippies like, are like even oh well, look at this. Even the Pippins are marked mm. down, right? That, that, uh, back in the day, people would buy it 
it would be sold out. They won't hold stock. But no, like the only I think that sells are like VaporMax and and VaporMax Plus, and they're still in stores. They're not sold out. Uh, everyone is panicking for Ross. <laughs> Too legit. Uh, raising prices and losing inventory makes zero sense. Big cheese thrifts. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, let me see. You got weights in the background. Yeah, we're trying to get some uh, mini oh, guns. Yeah, these water guns to uh, <laughs> go grow a little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, Big money mo. Is, uh, sneaker flip fine says to Big money mo. Facts: a real supply issue, butterfly effect across the world. It wasn't just a one month thing. Uh, Richard, it's also harder uh, harder to find things now because more people were reselling than they were last year. Also true too. Um, so basically Nike still has to compete, says Spoof Sailing. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Demand is greater than supply. They raise price to catch up to demand. Profits will go up. Basic economy, <laughs> economics. Yeah. Well, demand, that's also the thing. The demand is sky high right now. Yeah, because there's not enough supply, right? The only way that demand goes down if we oversupply the market, right? Just like anything else. Look at all your mids. Where's the mids at right now? They've put up so many mids that demand went down, right? And that's the same thing, just like our sneakers, right? I think they've prioritized that more likely or less because it's already been in in the press in a way right all this all this high-end shoe are already on its way out in in the beginning anyway and i think if anything i think this are like they make so much more money in the retail right because if you think about it well i believe that if they average it out the shoes in the factory would cost the same because hmm. they get just get so dirt cheap and then why wouldn't they put out more retros? Which, yeah. if you think about it, there's just a lot more retros ultimately <laughs> because they've pulled back on the other production on the other stuff. They'd be like, okay, retros first. This one, $100 shoe, pull back. Retros first. That's why there's a lot more retros. If you guys see it, look at the ratio of retros and the regular stuff that are in store. When have we seen three or four retros being fulfilled and the rest of the other ones are not showing up in store? Very good point. Well, let's go back to that. Uh, I know there's a there's a crap load of comments coming in, right. so we gotta we gotta go and see. I'll try to answer as many or go through all of them. I think there's great points on here. Um, Anna, do you think this is a move for big retail stores to move away from brick and mortar to focus more on online retail? I would say no. The no. reason why I say no is because Burlington and Ross are making even more stores, mm-hmm. and like they said before, Burlington tried online. And it failed. Mm -hmm. And it failed because it's the thrill of the hunt. Find a deal that customers love. Not just resellers, but any basic customer. Like, I want to see what kind of deals are out there. And that's what keeps them coming into their stores. And that's what really throws off a lot of people in these articles. Is they're like, man, Ross doesn't even have a website. And they're killing it. Well, it's like, well, they have a different way of advertising because they're going with thrill of the hunt deals mm-hmm. and people love to see what they can find. Yeah. And they kind of feed off of that. So I think the retail brick and mortar industry is not a it's such a big industry and a dinosaur industry that it's not going to be um, what do you call that? Kind of like it's not going to be a Tesla. Yeah kind of company that just goes all in and go electric they're gonna be like a toyota they're just gonna hang in as much as they can and sell hybrids and stuff like that sell online sell on ig sell on ebay and stuff like that but i think ultimately there is still such a demand uh for that higher population i would it would be interesting to see what kind of percentage after 2021 have been e-commerce on the retail space because we've seen it gaining every year after a year i think somebody said it's built a trillion uh, it's about to hit trillion dollar industry for all the online sales but it would be interesting to see what that would look like or even see the uh the the quarterly update from Foot Locker. because remember they claim so much of the success of the online boom mm. i wonder what would it be 
moving forward because it seems like they still have supply. We still get our retros from Foot Locker. True. Yeah. Um, I for Fly says dinosaurs went extinct, though. Be <laughs> 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 too legit. Says I love Toyotas. Oh, it will it will go extinct. They'll be blockbusters someday. Mm. All this brick and mortar will be blockbuster someday. Uh, Big Money Mo, resellers need to get over themselves saying that Nike Marshall's not sitting in the conference saying, how can we get back at those resellers? <laughs> we want to give back. They spend so much in our store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For some reason, a lot of the, not just saying from Ross Marshall's resellers, but a lot of the hype resellers too believe that they're like, the center of attention at all times yeah like they're, they're the going most... after them right yeah they're, they're trying to block their shine <laughs> didn't we talk about victim mentality on monday yeah i know this guy's need to watch their show <laughs> yeah uh what's up jonathan brown let me see um uh, let me go back uh b tell them to send the extra capacity from the reefer ball this way okay that for fanatic yeah i'll text them um, Nike announced that they were tightening up well before pandemic. This is how they planned it. D Brown. Mm -hmm. um, there is a shortage. JD. Um, will friends and knew, family ever come back? Because they knew about the virus before it ever. Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, now that's a conspiracy uh, okay, okay, that's not good. Uh, show. Right. Will friends and family ever come back? I think it will. We don't know when. <laughs> the problem is, are you going to be the brand's friend or family? <laughs> <laughs> Big money mo. No company will make a decision to sell less and produce less. Yep. Yeah, there <laughs> is a reason why they couldn't sell more or produce more. That's it. Um, this guys plus, are this guys have factories. That's what these factories are supposed to do. And how many factories were closed? Three major. And have been the have Vietnam shut ones down. and the other ones. Yeah, have shut down for an extensive amount of time. Yep. Hundred percent. Uh, C says they're using backpacks to fill the walls in order to mask the lack of supply. Yeah, I've seen yeah. so many backpacks. 100%. <laughs> so many. It's like, I feel like going there is like back to school. No sale, fake sale, backpacks. That's what I feel like. Big cheese. We're spoiled on prices being dirt low. So, of course, when they jump prices, there's going to be an outcry of displeasure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> For sure. Um... Yeah, you should see how many people crying about jerseys being forty four dollars at retail at one fifty at one point for players right. that did play for them at one point. And mm -hmm. oh man, there are lineups at thrift stores now. Oh, for sure. Uh, let's get it, says Miles. I like that. Uh, let me see, bro. When Hard. things get back to normal, big companies have access company, and those brands will go back to Ross and Marshalls temporary. Right. Absolutely. Hard days, night. He said. A bad time to start reselling? Yes. <laughs> I've, I've literally said that to a few people that have approached me, you know, that are, you know, I go to church with acquaintances because they've seen the, the eBay spotlight video. Oh, the B spotlight video. Yeah. And so they came in. It's like, hey, can you teach me? Like, bro, like, this is the worst time to start. And I just told them, like, gather as much capital as you can because buying season will will be back. But it's not now. It's not anytime soon. And they said, oh, really? I said, yeah, go to the outlets and see. <laughs> they go there. Like, Man, all backpacks. <laughs> they, said, they start asking me, do you sell backpacks still? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have her fly. How much do you think Nike was selling Vapormax to Ross and Burlington for? How much were those stores actually making? Mm. Um. So what I believe is that they were doing is not necessarily focusing on a certain style, but more of like a bulk supply of like you're buying the Vapor Max, but you're also buying like the other lower end Nike mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. The $20 cleats, like the Zoom Rivals, you know, how many of the track shoes do you get? So it's kind of like, all right, Ross, you're, you are getting this, but you're also buying everything else. So, um, but as far as the price goes, what do they pay? And well, in order for them to make a profit, it's obviously a lot less than what the price was at Ross. So even at fifty nine, fifty four, man, how much? I mean, it's dirt cheap. I mean, for them to still make good money from it, it's it's kind of crazy to think about. But 
Even Ross is getting spoiled. Forget us being spoiled. Ross getting spoiled too by this cheap Vapor Max and sneaker supply. Uh, let me see. Demand also demand high because easy money policies and consumer spending shift from services to hard goods. Big money mo. Um, they won't even have physical shoes soon. They'll all be digital. There we go. And uh, the digital goods. Oh, the meta, the metaverse shoes. The metaverse. Uh, B is right on. They cut the vendors who weren't sneaker sellers, DSW, Dillard's, and Belk, which Nike did do that, which I did include that article in the video tomorrow when Nike first cut um, some of the retailers out of it. Uh, Hustle B is right. Never thought about that. Way more retros. Koo Kicks. Hey, what up, Koo Kicks? Um, George says, I come out of Ross depressed. Um, it's temporary. Nike will fill up and they'll be back at TJ Ross in Burlington. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing too, is that, um, I think I saw a good comment. I think it was from Bobby Hustles in one of the, <laughs> one of the comments. And I think he said on IG that was like, you got to keep in mind, you know, about it being temporary. Yes, they will be back. Mm -hmm. But what I'm also saying, um, tomorrow is like, Focus, pivot on some other niches, learn some new things. And when things are back, you're still going to have the Ross Burlington Marshalls. You know your routes. You've been to these stores. You probably still have some of the connections, maybe at some of the managers. You know what to look for. That will be there. Mm -hmm. But these new niches, new ways of getting product that you're focusing on will now only help you. And now you have... A whole arsenal of yep, things time. to add yep. on mm -hmm. to your Ross Burlington Marshalls Nike outlet finds. Yeah, I would say I would say this is a time to go back to school. You know what I'm saying? Start start finding. I guess they won't look like opportunities now, but start finding things that you can mm -hmm. learn. Like Glenn said, what you could add to your arsenal because ultimately, when the opportunities come. You'll be ready to go there. You'll be ready to to explore or try. And I think that's I I guess, you know, to end this, I think it's a good mindset to have to not only wish when things go back, but only but but think about how things are gonna be better moving forward for you. So put yourself in a situation where you're learning more than what you ever had. You're, you're, you're taking care of your business way better than what you've had. And I guess ultimately is what's the priority in your life. And now you've had to sacrifice time before. And now you have time that you, you're not putting in sourcing now. So, you know, cut back on sourcing and put their time and priority uh, on things that matter to you. So I think that's that's really it. And then, again, Glenn's been here longer. Uh, we've been, you know, at it for a while. And eventually things change. But ultimately, ultimately, things should get better. Uh, let me go back up and see. Man, a lot of a lot of comments that came in. And we're super behind on comments. <laughs> B snacking. What snack is B featuring this week? Um, I don't know what B was eating. Was it chips or something? Oh yeah, this is the crispy, uh, the crispy cheese it. Oh, cheese its Okay. Bro, they're fire. They're like chips, but cheese its <laughs> Uh, let me see. Let me go back. Man, Nike did file for digital goods and assets and copyrights. Yep, we did talk about that one of a two three weeks ago, and let's see where they take that. I mean, who knows? Uh, Ross having to store it, process it, transport it, going to be getting it for hella cheap. Um, let me see, probably $5 a shoe. Oh, they were getting that stuff. Uh, let me see, Glenn, do you finally pivoting to cards, crypto, and NFTs? That for fanatic. Oh, you don't even know. Glenn, <laughs> Glenn's, Glenn's making his NFT. He's trying to draw now. <laughs> so, funny story, right? There's this Filipino graphic designer that he got contracted a thousand dollars to create this NFT. Industry, oh, right? nice. 
it was some monkey that was a cyborg, right? All right, cool. This thing sold for like, I believe, $35,000. Wow. And on his contract, <laughs> there was no percentage written. Uh, that's <laughs> always doing so, the designers dirty. Yeah, so he's happy and sad at the same time that it was a validation that his his design could be that much worth. And two is a lesson learned that moving forward, he'll probably take lesser upfront, but but a percentage of the sale. Uh, but yet Gary V can draw oh, some a doodle, can doodle stick figure animals on toilet paper and scan it as NFT and sells for crazy money. It's wild. Uh, let me see. Oh, Austin says, bro, Ross ain't coming back. You guys are being a little delusional. <laughs> yeah, this guy's in the wrong channel. This is the optimism channel, bro. <laughs> the thing is, is that, like, uh, it's almost like questioning, like, is Nike Outlet going to stay like this forever? Is Ross, it's not going to be forever. Yeah. Like, trust me. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. If, if you ever that kind of have that kind of thinking, you're like, you're like, uh, uh, who you're like Allen Iverson saying, I'm gonna sign a Reebok because Nike's gonna go out of the business. <laughs> Should have signed with Nike. Now, I'm not gonna tell you that Ross is gonna get better next month, no, or next six months. No. We haven't said it, may that. not. We, were, we already said summer 22, Glenn. That was our and that's pushing it. It might even be <laughs> yeah, until that's September. Being, that's I don't know. Being us optimistic, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I want to see B outsourcing for the best snacks. Put my money to work. Five dollars, smooth sailing. Yo, Yo I, <laughs> we might have to do that, Glenn. I mean, you're gonna, eventually going to run out of videos. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's true too. Uh, let me see. Go to the next. After watching other resellers on IG and YouTube, there's lots of ways to make money out there. Absolutely, mm -hmm. luck and three legs. Mm -hmm um let me see you're gonna start seeing a big company's pivot things tied to nfts and physical and physical merch big cheese thrifts nfts could happen still very early kind of not kind of is i think it's still kind of up in the air i mean uh more cheese it comments <laughs> um <laughs> glenn have you had this cheese it's the thins Cheese it no. thin crisp. Crispy thin. <laughs> no. You gotta try it. I think it's vegan. Is it? They are right. Because it's not real cheese. <laughs> they're plant based. Yeah, they're they're synthetic. <laughs> <laughs> they're synthetic. <laughs> they five snacks them. everyone slept on. New video idea. Oh we were gonna we were supposed to do back in the day the Filipino snacks first. Yo, let's do that, bro. I I found this thing. Uh, on Amazon that you get like assorted snacks and then I buy you like Filipino snacks and you buy me like uh, some German snack or something like that or mm. some, some something different right and then we 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 eat it live and then we rate it and, <laughs> huh dude you run. had a lot of my Filipino snacks though oh, you yeah. love all of them yeah they're good they're good you um, love all of them yeah we, we gotta uh, try that now let me go back up and see. Uh, that's all assuming that economy will stay hot. If we hit a recession and people stop spending, then it'll be a buying season for us. Big money mo. Mm -hmm. Which was, what was our buying season? When 2020 and and Ross was getting when things they out for 49 again. cents. Right, right, right. 49 cent cleats. 50% off. Luggage was half off. <laughs> Remember, people were buying luggage. It was crazy. I never even thought about that. Because... I, we were just so busy buying shoes, man. So, yeah, that was perfect buying season. Mm -hmm. And it actually turned into a great selling season, too, that Q4. But, yeah, that Q5, um, Q6, Q7. Yeah, <laughs> Q7. Right? So, but, yes, big money, big money, Mo. Uh, that's assuming the economy is right, too. But the thing is, also, of course, when it comes to stocks, like, people are always like, this is a bubble. This thing's going to burst. And... We don't know when things can or will happen, but you're prepared in different ways too, you know, assuming you're prepared, but 
obviously some of the resellers have not been prepared when things are dry and there's no money and there's no capital and you're not making sales. So yeah, I, uh, I was just deleting some screenshots that I've had in my phone, you know, just had some spare time. And in one of the screenshots was, I think it was 2018, 2019. I'm petty for this, but there was a guy that commented, how in the world is this B going to sell all his inventory and his price so high? And, and I said, and I responded, I said, I want to be the best high price eBay store of all time. And, you know, that was being sarcastic. And he responded, <laughs> well, good luck to you. Good luck on your storage business. And then here's my, my response. I said, great. Have a nice day. Fast forward three years from now, my storage business is doing good. And I couldn't find a guy anymore. I looked him oh. up on IG because I was going to tag him on on something but he's gone so well hopefully he's just gone from my g and not from life i mean we did I hit. Mean, he probably could i mean if he was that salty he probably was just too salty about life man and look at this guy doing screenshots of comments oh i i do i'm not gonna I lie <laughs> i'll screenshot them and i'll look back if they were right or not Right? <laughs> I'm not always gonna be right, Glenn. I know that, <laughs> but there's just a lot of times I am. <laughs> <laughs> this guy uh, adapt at all times, says Sean. Well, the thing is, too, is like I mean, I guess because like I've told you guys before in the family business, like my my parents, their family business didn't um, you know almost make it out of all everything that happened with you know and and figuring out like how do we keep going. Right. When you are a small business, what else, what kind of changes do you have to do? My dad ended up um, adding on promotional products that they weren't doing before. Oh, that, so that main, became your main business now, right? That ended up being a lot of the business now that mm -hmm. he didn't have before, you know, when everything went downhill, you know, 2008-ish. And he was looking for new ways to add on, like we said, Man. To, your, to your business to keep going. And then now that ended up doing way better than what they were doing before that they never offered before. So other opportunities open up. Exactly. Um, but you got to find them. You got to put in the work to figure for that real. out. Um, Dude, for real. Because ultimately, man, we can just look back and see if we've done something about it or not. Right. I mean, Bryce Assassin said if Michael Jordan had a screenshot, he would have had mad screenshots before. <laughs> 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 and I took that personally. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> uh let me see. Oh, Mr. Eric, what up? It's like Zillow. They have to go back to the original model. <laughs> yeah, no, that was so, now that I look at it, so apparently they were just buying houses. Yeah. And then they put it in their inventory and they forgot who they are. <laughs> There's just a listing platform. Imagine if eBay just starts buying all our shoes and holding it in a warehouse and then the economy tanks and eBay goes <laughs> out of business. That's why eBay don't buy inventory. Oh, man. They just go like 10% here and there. Imagine eBay went out of business. Mercari's like, man, we're ready. Oh, uh, dude, Mercari and Poshmark is ready. <laughs> Poshmark, Mercari ready. Yeah. Well, look at <laughs> Poshmark stocks. <laughs> <laughs> They weren't ready for that. Uh, Big Cheese Thrifts. Uh, mad everyone thinks the strip clubs were dumb for having buffets. Ultimate diversification before it's time. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, stop. No, people are, see, like, we have, we have brain juice. We have some brain power. If these guys can think about that, we could think of something. Come on now. Uh, let me see. I think every seller gets at least one message from a buyer that says, good luck selling at that high price. Like you're supposed to feel quality or something or guilty or something. There we go. Uh -oh. So there's a cue. Uh, I thought I was, you know, which of the worst buyers, the dude that send you offers and it never changes. Like I'll send oh. you like you're selling shoes, $200 offer. Yeah. And then you, you counter offer. Two hundred dollar offer. Yeah, I was like, and you kind of offer two hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, I hate those people. <laughs> well, like a five dollar, I give you ten dollars, you go up two dollars. That's Poshmark, <laughs> man. That's Poshmark. 
I probably don't sell anything over 100 there. Oh man. Actually, the worst the worst ones are the ones that don't that don't pay. Yeah, are actually worse than the other. They're ones. still. Oh, there's this guy that bought it. It's like, oh, thanks for the great deal. I pay you next Friday. I'm yeah. like, it's Monday, bro. <laughs> it's Monday. I'll pay you next Friday. Yeah, and he's like, and it's that you know, and it's that one shoe that you have, you know, that you think that it could sell so quick, and then yeah. it's gonna help get held hostage there. <laughs> Only thing I tell them is like. You can try, but it's already been relisted, so time, so time's waiting. <laughs> like all I do is relist it right away. It's like, dude, if you're not paying, like someone oh, else comes in, smart. it's done. And then you could because, like, after a few days, you can cancel and relist, right? Yeah. Like, there's that eBay feature now. Yeah, so I'm just like, man, you're not paying. It's already relisted as soon as you're, mm-hmm. as soon as they buy, I already relisted because yeah. screw them. Like, this is, like, we don't have time for this. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me see. Be the great snack master. <laughs> uh, let me see. What up, Batar? Poshmark list at one forty, offers at thirty. <laughs> <laughs> Do a food related channel. B said it'd be uh, car related with yeah. price assassin. Or I, or I could be like a, a sh- uh, you know I can cook good. Price assassin have had my food over here chef a little chef channel yeah i could do like uh you know uh cars food and food (laughs) (laughs) cars foods and snacks uh let me see you have to give them 48 hours because if you do it before you can get negative feedback there we go yeah I, i i i i was gonna say this i could have like the sweet life of Ken and Glenn. Chilling. You know, you Ooh. know how the sweet life of Zach and Cody. Oh, is that those twins? <laughs> the island boys. Yeah, uh, the <laughs> island boys. Dude, I got LLS LSS that one day, right? Because I saw it and then I started saying it. And my wife, JC, got so mad. And she's like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, I land boy. Uh, I was like, doing like that. And in the car. And she's like, stop. And then apparently she she never grew up watching The Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. So it there's no relevance to her, right? And that's I was, why I didn't even understand. I was huh? like, I didn't even I didn't understand, I didn't understand either. And dude, I just... I just start singing it. I could like, and every time it's like, Alan boy. I was like, just doing that. Uh, I was like, it's so annoying. She's in the chat. <laughs> Dude, oh. that's why I said that's why, like, not everything has a happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> Island voice. Get that sound bite. Yes, Glenn, please get All that right, sound we'll get bite. That sound bite. <laughs> when we see the Rasta Samba, yeah, play the <laughs> Island boy. <laughs> We'll be ready for that one. Let me go back up and see. Uh, where are you going to have the wives do a live show? <laughs> Sometimes I'm not on the right state of mind, okay? <laughs> I throw yeah, out yeah, ideas. We say, things, we say things, right? Like we Sometimes get we just for say things. things. <laughs> yeah, that's just, that's. Yeah. We might dress like our wives for a show. Uh, now we're just pushing it. $600 per cameo. Pacers. Island uh, boys just trying to make it out here, young JPEG. Bro, they, they, I mean, they're adapting or something. <laughs> they're doing something. Oh, yeah, they're doing something all right. Yeah. Just uh, trying let me... to make out. <laughs> uh, let me go back. Saturday sweetest snacks. Chef B goes hustling for honey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Anything else you want to throw in? Uh, tomorrow's video will be ready. I don't know what I'm going to do for Friday's video. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, Mondays oh, are oh, good. Oh, real quick. Did you get your Ghostbusters tickets? Oh, yes, I did. Me and the wife are going to go. We're Is ready. that a thing? Should yeah. I go watch it, too? Yeah, you Is should go scary? watch it. Wait, did you see the first Ghostbusters? No. What? I <laughs> I okay, watch the... that one first. Dude, I just seen the cartoons Ghostbusters thing. Oh no! You need to watch the the eighty four one. Is it scary that will give me nightmares, or no, is it no, funny? No. It's funny. Oh okay, for yeah. real? Yeah, you'll like it. Okay, and then when when does it come out? Where's the new one? Uh, tomorrow comes out. Tomorrow. Oh, so we could watch it tonight and watch yeah. it tomorrow. 
Yeah, hey, next yeah, thing you know, I become a Ghostbusters fan, yeah. and I'll be rocking those Ghostbusters Adidas. Oh yeah! Oh man, now we're pushing it. Okay, yeah, you could try. Okay, there's a second one too. There's Ghostbusters two. So yeah, skip. Says <laughs> Big Cheese says skip the girls one. There What's is a the women's girl? Ghostbusters one that you don't have to watch that one. No, you guys are messing with me. No, there is a women's one. Even I haven't even seen that one. I couldn't. Okay. I okay. couldn't put myself to... Uh... Dude, you're saying classic 80s movies. I wasn't born in the 80s. You don't have to be. You can, you can I watch know, this stuff. but at the end of the day, like, <laughs> when I was born, or where I was born, like, I was trying to look for some good quality movies already. Have you watched Gremlins? Yeah, I've seen it. But I was, I was scared because they were, like, they were scary. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm telling you, I'm a scared guy. I get nightmares from these things. Yes, watch Seinfeld as well. You can watch Ghostbusters. You can watch Seinfeld. Um, bro, I can't take those sitcoms. I can't. What? Friends, like I, I've, dude, literally. So I, I, I see them. Well, I was growing up in the Philippines. There's like channels for, for that things. I can't get into it. Like The Office, like the dry humor. I like. I, I don't. I laugh, but some are like, it's just they just do and try to make you laugh so much so fast that it just. No. Now, Nacho Libre. Oh, oh that's, that's so cool. random. Nacho that's so Libre. Random. That's what I like. Nacho <laughs> Libre, the Three Stooges. My, <laughs> I watched the VHS Three Stooges. <laughs> oh. Black and white. Oh, yeah. But you just said you couldn't watch stuff in the 80s because it was old. Three Stooges is like super old. Yeah, yeah, but that one's that, that fun. That's funny for me. That kind of funny. Okay, let me see. <laughs> B would like Kramer. Who's Kramer? Yeah, Kramer's funny. He's part of Seinfeld. Okay. Um, oh man, I believe man. in science. Yes, that's <laughs> not totally right. The Office UK is great. We have to get used to the British humor. Yeah, that was before the uh, American one. Office classic, fifty yeah, I mean, sitcoms, I, 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 silent films. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! All right, go watch Ghostbusters and then um, then go from there. How about okay. that? All right, I'll get a haircut in the meanwhile. Okay. Uh, anyways, keep selling. Q4 time is here. I got to ship stuff after this. I know you too as well. So everybody else, yeah. keep shipping, keep selling, right. keep right. sourcing, and uh, see you hey. tomorrow's video, Friday's video. I said I don't know, and Monday mindset Monday. Yeah, back at it. Monday's been. Yeah. Be here for yeah. Mondays. All right, All right. guys. Have See you guys. Go ahead and get it. See ya.